protests kicks off at the Tom Hannafin Park in Council Bluffs tonight. At least 15,000 people are expected to attend. But this year is a little different, especially for people in the new developments along the riverfront. 3 News Now reporter Andrea Braswell has more on how they now have a front row seat this Memorial Day weekend. The newly developed riverfront in Council Bluffs is finally coming together. It shows the community between Nebraska and Iowa. I think Bob Carey had a very good idea there. I really like that. Mary Baltz has been living in California for the last 30 years. She's here taking pictures since so much has changed. Just the river itself and also seeing the development and the trees and the amount of trails for hiking. I like that very much. And this is just the beginning. Uh, we'll make it a feature that will help develop residential housing, that will help develop new retail housing on both the Omaha side and the Council Bluffs side. With all its latest attractions, Mayor Matt Walsh says the riverfront will easily become the city's new center of attention. You know, in many communities, the river is the focus of activity um, for the community, and we've never really focused our attention on the Missouri River. Mayor Walsh says the new pavilion, splash pad, and residential area is just a small piece of the project. So it's going really well, um, better than expected, and, and we're excited making both sides of the Bob Carey Bridge a sight to see. That really will change the entire dynamic of the, the riverfront on both the Iowa side and the Nebraska side. And for some, these new features make the site a tourist destination. Just as uh, amazing as anything they're constructing in California. <laughs> in Council Bluffs, Andrea Braswell, 3 News Now.